Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 4. So today we are going to explore Lineage OS 22 which is based on Android 15 for this device. So I personally don't really like Lineage OS but many people do like Lineage OS because of its stockish nature because it is pretty much stock you will not get much customization here and also most of the time it works really well but we will check how it's working on this device about phone so as you can see here Android 15 Lineage OS 22.1 Mido this is an unofficial ROM for this device the security patch level is 5th of December 2024 pretty much recent I have been using this ROM few weeks now actually just to try out what's going on so the setting layout is pretty much similar to all other AOSP based ROM so categorized and everything in terms of network connectivity I haven't faced any issue Wi-Fi Bluetooth and all those things are working but no Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi support on this ROM notification as you can see here pretty much similar to all other stock ROM sound and vibration working no issue in the display section we do have adaptive brightness adaptive brightness does work no issue with that dark theme night light all those things are available tap to work and double tap to sleep all those things are working so as you can see here and high touch sensitivity you can turn it on if you need that and torch setting is also available so all these things are working on available wallpaper and style we don't really have any kind of ai wallpaper here and we don't really need that do have few default wallpapers they look good and you can use your own too actually and more lock screen option is available do have few other options here like device control dynamic clock ambient display we don't really have every here but you can double tap to check the notification pretty much all the custom rom come with this feature in terms of battery the battery is doing pretty well actually it is battery backup is really really good we do have few other feature here like charging control option is available you can schedule you can limit all those things are available battery manager is available and battery light you can configure it according to your need and battery information although these are not reliable but they are there in the system setting we have few things here and the only customization you will find are available in this setting so if you go to status bar section quick pull down so you can check it so like i have selected the right side one so quick down is working we have network traffic monitor as you can see here it is working system icon you can change it up to you clock position and few other things are available so you are not getting a lot of customization here but the basic customizations are available so you will not have any issue with customization here button section is available so if you want full screen gesture on this rom you have to turn on on screen navigation bar which will disable soft buttons from here then you can go to gesture section and turn on the gesture navigation if you want that otherwise you can stick to a regular soft buttons option here we do have few other features like swipe to screenshot so that is available and it is working quickly open camera that is available and that's all we are getting here actually nothing much that's all what we are getting nothing much here actually and in the security and privacy section we don't really have face unlock option here but the fingerprint unlock is working pretty well no issue with fingerprint unlock pretty fast and reliable so you will not have any kind of issue with fingerprint unlock private space is available and you can turn it on if you want more security option we do have uh, extended unlock safe browsing and few other things but we don't really have empty theft and other feature which comes with under 15 based strong and that's it actually we are not getting much here so that's all what we are getting by the way i have already disabled all kind of animation on this rom because with animation it will struggle without animation it works well actually so in terms of application we are not getting a lot here this is not a gfs build so if you need gfs you have to flush gfs separately i did flush gfs and working pretty well so in terms of application we are not getting much here the camera application we got here is gcam go and it is working pretty well we can take picture as you can see here and video we can shoot up to 4k 30fps so as you can see here 4k 30fps and it is recording now so 4k 30fps video is working and the camera works pretty well no issue with that you can install gcam if you want few other applications are available whatsapp is working no issue in terms of phone call bo LTE and bo wi-fi is not working and you can't record voice call here so that is one of the downside actually 
and we do have Google Photos unlimited storage as you can see here unlimited storage is available but we do fortunately there is no magic editor so if I check edit section so we don't really have that option here I don't really know why but it is not here and in terms of safety net feature we don't really have safety net one of the downside of this ROM that safety net feature is not available so you can't use any kind of bank application here I did try to fix it but it didn't work so device play product certification is not certified of that you can't use bank application and few other application will not be compatible with this ROM so, so if you use those kind of application you can skip this ROM in terms of overall usability the ROM is working pretty well I haven't faced any kind of major issues here there are minor bugs here and there in terms of gaming obviously as you know this is a pretty old device for gaming you can't use this device but the ROM is working pretty well it is pretty stable and works pretty well no issue as you can see here all the functions are working overall this is a really good ROM if you want a basic ROM which works well then you can go with this ROM too and I will put the ROM link in the description below if you want to try this ROM that's all about it thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one